Hey, what's up guys? It's Juno here from Prince Guitar. Today we'll be checking out how to play Femme by Take It All. As you can see, this song is a very, very easy song. We are um, only using two or three or four chords actually. But I'm just playing around with two other chords. So basically we're just using two chords. So we have the F and the C. Very simple. F and C. Okay, so there are some times where I add like the A minor to it as a passing chord to the C. Okay, that would be from the F, F, A minor to the C. Then I have this this chord here. There's a um, it's a C add. Forgot what it's called. This is add something. I will leave it in the description. Um, and then I had this chord here as a passing chord again from after I've played the C, then back to the F again. So F, you're placing your first two fingers on the first fret on the B and the E string, and then you take your second finger and you place it right on the G string of the second fret and then your ring finger is gonna be on the D third fret and you strum from the third from the D string. Okay, that's your F to play the A minor. So you leave your first finger there now on the B and you move your second finger up to the D string and then you place your ring finger on the G and you strum from the A. Then to go to the C, all you need to do is just take off your ring finger, just move it up on the A string, third fret, you strum from the A. And then um, the last chord, which is this. So basically you can just I'll show you one, one, one way how to do this. So you can do this one, it's just, you can do this chord if you want. This is much easier. So if you're on the C, to play this one, you lift up your, you actually need to lift up your first finger. All you need to do now is just place your pinky down on the B string of the third fret. Okay, give it a chord. Or if you want to play the one I'm playing, so just move your first finger on the second fret of the D string. And then your, your second finger on the third fret of the A string. And then you have your ring finger on the D. So on the G and then your pinky on the B. Okay. But what I really do something, I just so I pick it. So to give it a sort of effect, you just have to do like like um a bending, bending effect to give it that. Okay. Um so those are the chords that I'm using. So one more time. F minor as a C and then to this chord okay like I said before the the old song is just around the F and the C so you don't need to add the A minor if you don't want to in this chord okay and then I'm gonna show you now what I do in terms of my strumming strumming is very very simple for the song um you know it's just basically just having fun you know just having fun in terms of how, how you strum it so i'm just gonna show you what i'm doing quickly so very slowly okay so you can see there, I'm just playing down, up, mute, down, up, mute, down. Okay, for the down, you can stay on the F if you want, or you can just go to the A minor for the down. Okay. So for this chord, I just... I pick so I just do that. I pay and I'm um, picking here so your thumb on the um, on the A string and then first finger on the D, second finger on the G, and then your um, pinky or oh, sorry, your ring finger on the B. 
so you can just pick and then just sort of do like a bend in here okay one more time dun, 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 dun. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed that tutorial. Um, if you have, please don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel to show your support. Please don't forget to like my videos and also share it. Please also don't forget to leave your song request below um, so I can have songs I can work on. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care guys and stay safe. Bye.